your weather authority forecast. Sponsored by Greenway of the Shoals. A new way, the right way. Greenwayoftheshoals.com. I'm Danielle Dozier, the chief meteorologist for News 19, of course, here in Huntsville. What you're looking at here is video of me emceeing a prestigious program here in Huntsville today at Columbia High School. It was North Alabama Clyde Foster STEM Black History Program, and I got to speak with middle school and high school students about the importance of STEM, Department of, Na er, <laughs> Department of Army, that is, uh, giving me that certificate, and just uh, that's out for outstanding service, and just had a great time out there with the kids at Storm Hunter and teaching them about tornadoes, tornado safety, and how we safely chase in Storm Hunter 19. So again, I uh, just want to thank all of them for uh, watching News 19 and of course allowing me to come out today. Let's talk about the weather for, speaking of kids, kids at the bus stop tomorrow. We've got temperatures that are going to be in the low to middle 50s, so it's going to be a cool start, but not as cold as what we've been experiencing lately, which has been 40s and 30s. Tomorrow's going to be another warm day with temperatures going up close to 70. The winds will be between 5 and 15 with occasional gusts to 20, so it's going to be a breezy day. Overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning, we do look to have a couple of showers moving through. So if you're heading out early for your commute, you might want to have your umbrella just in case. And and allow yourself just some extra time to get where you're going. We'll have a couple of those showers moving through. As you see, it's not going to be a washout, so we're not going to see rain all day, but we will have periods of showers moving through. By late afternoon and evening, we could have a couple of heavier downpours. Some clouds around lightning will be possible during this time as well. These are going to be lifting from south to north across the region. And as we head into the overnight period into Thursday, we'll have to keep our eyes out on Mississippi because a cold front is going to be approaching with a stronger line of heavy rainfall and possibly some strong thunderstorms, including clouds of ground lightning and some strong wind gusts. Here's 430 in the morning on Thursday, so that's going to kick out of here by mid morning and we'll be left with decreasing clouds on Thursday. Right now we're in a one out of five risk marginal in dark green for basically areas just to the east of Huntsville and then out to the west. As you see right now, it looks like a, a better risk here in yellow for having severe weather. If a storm does become severe, we're looking at damage winds being the primary threat with locally heavy rainfall. So that could be winds up around 55 miles per hour or so. Outside of any storms, going to be a windy night, Wednesday night into Thursday. So here you're looking at the afternoon tomorrow first, gusts up around 20 miles per hour. We head into Wednesday night and those winds start to pick up. And by early Thursday morning, we're starting to see some orange and red. That's winds that will be gusting up around 35 to possibly 45 miles per hour into early Thursday morning. So it's going to be windy. We're going to make sure we're securing our outdoor decorations just in case we don't want those to blow away. There could also be a few power outages too. So we just wanted to prep you on that potential as we head into this time frame. You can see here our rainfall forecast is going to be anywhere from about a half an inch to three quarters of an inch of rain across the Tennessee Valley. Here's the extended forecast still mild though through Thursday, low 60s, mid 60s, near 60 on Friday for the Shoals and Sand Mountain. We do cool things off for the weekend, especially the first part. And those temperatures are dipping down close to freezing on Saturday morning. We do have another weather disturbance coming through that could lead to some either sprinkles or light flurries or snow showers, something along those lines early Saturday. So we'll keep you updated on that. And then the back half of the weekend looks mostly sunny with highs back in the 50s.